At 40 feet, nine inches long, 11,300 pounds dry, this seven sleeping beauty is feature packed, but won't break the bank when it comes time for you to take the family camping. Check out the Dutchman Atlas 3602 LFKB. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. I, I am wild, to be honest with you, standing in the back of the Dutchman Atlas 3602 LFKB. This is a loft bunk room with a king size bed and the master. That's what the initials stand for. But it's also a bath and a half. So if you've been looking to sleep seven plus people, you need room, space, amenities, style, and features packed into a fifth wheel RV that is roughly 40 feet, nine inches long, 11,300 pounds dry. This is one you should put at the top of your list because the way they designed the Dutchman Atlas fifth wheels is they made it right in that sweet spot of feature packed, but not super high end where it's gonna break the bank. You're right there in that bang for your buck area that I think a lot of people are, especially nowadays when we're looking to get out and about. But this bunk room is where I wanted to start. Check it out. So. We have a loft bed up here, 300 pound max capacity there, 54 by 74. Uh, down here, you have a full size bed, 300 pound capacity too, large panoramic windows, mirrored ward storage over here, plus a nightstand with cubby space, dual USB charging, 110, dual USB charging up top as well. But before we get back up there, Bobby, check this out. Strut supported storage underneath that is also accessible from the outside storage compartments. Very nice little touch right there. I like that. Add to the fact that you got dual ACs on this one, 15K and 13.5, and you got the blade system in here, which really does a good job of distributing the air evenly. And when it comes to entertainment, this is the big kids getaway RV. Cause I'm thinking, look, I got two boys. I got one six, one's, you know, one's 12. This is a little bit too big for them even, but you got two spots for TVs. One right there in the entertainment center that has its own storage and one right here on the wall. And that's just a little opulent if you ask me, but the kids have their own access point right here in the rear on the campsite. You got the ladder with the handles, which I think is a very nice touch. This is the first time I've seen this added into an RV. So seeing that really makes me think, okay, the manufacturers have been listening. Safety and security has come in a little bit more to the forefront. Got solid balances over my windows. I got a solid door leading me into my half bath, which has the porcelain bowl with the foot flush. I got the large single basin sink right here with the brush nickel fixtures, little storage door underneath. GFCI outlet mirrored medicine cabinet right here. And I got the high output max fan right there. Now that joker will move about a foot of air per second when you cut it on high and you got your little controls for it right here. Plus a hanger for your towel, your bathrobe, you know, whatever you want to do. But as far as a, separate bunk room, separate entertainment space. Check out the frosted glass solid door leading me into the living area. That is nice, my friends. That is one where, just picture going on the weekend hunting trip, the ladies beach getaway, the ladies wine tour. Here we are with this Belmont decor that we have in here. Looks nice. I got the dark features with my wood, my cabinetry, with the paneling that we have here in the slides that has six foot of hair, head clearance in it. Um, and I got the Allure furniture. So when I'm ready to kick back, relax, I got large panoramic windows with the wood balances here with the decorative decor all the way around, wood inlays with my mushroom lights. I got a recliner that has some storage space there. I pull up to the lake or the beach. I come back from a beautiful hike, fishing, biking, hunting, whatever. I got a glass of wine in my hand. I'm kicking back, opening up the windows, and before I know it, I'm falling asleep watching Murphy Brown. That's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful day. And look at my entertainment center. The frosted glass inlays here with the dark wood accent on the shaker style cabinets, the brush nickel fixtures. Sure, it's not deep storage space, but it's storage space. We're trying to maximize what's in here with the angled entertainment center with the large LED on the swivel arm that also pulls out. Got me a little component shelf there. I got my Jensen AM FM command center with HDMI, USB, plus it's Bluetooth, dual zone, the whole nine. Give me a couple more storage compartments there. I got 
restraining straps falling all over the place. And I got a 30 inch fireplace. 5,000 BTUs on that one really does a good job of knocking the chill off the air. And when you talk about the insulation that's around here, let's talk about that for a quick second. You got the aluminum frame all the way around. You got the reinforced floor with the Darko moisture barrier underneath. This is that linoleum flooring that's easy to clean. It is slip resistant. You got foam core insulation on your three right here, blown insulation on the roof. So if you want to do some three season camping, the Dutchman Alice is set up to really extend that camping season with their Arctic package that they put in here. Come over to my island kitchen, and this is a little bit larger than what I'm used to seeing. You got that solid surface. This is that hailstone cabinet, that, that, that hailstone style uh, solid surface countertop. It's beautiful, looks good, easy to clean. And this does look like a bigger island that I'm used to. LED accent light, dual 110s, farmhouse style sink undermounted with the apron, brush nickel high rise faucet, and the sprayer handle. And check out all the storage that we have here. Now, what I like about what Dutchman did with their atlases, they even took the time to put an applique on the bottom of the drawers. Sure, it's still solid wood construction, got the ball bearing, full extension, plenty of room. Good spot right there for whatever you want to store. Oh, Chris, I'd put trash cans and, you know, maybe other stuff down there. Well, why? You got a spot for those right here. Use that to put all your good fishing boxes and tackle boxes and lures or good shoes and, you know, Whatever, it's your RV. That's what I love about RVs. You put the Girl Scout cookies there if you want to. Nothing wrong with that. Got more pantry storage over here. Good spot too, given where the prep area is in conjunction to this area. I like the layout of that. Once again, the Dutchman Atlases are made style, comfort, and convenience uh, to give you the space to really get out and enjoy. You got a 12 cubic foot fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric. Um, as you can see, there's our drying rack for our sink, which does come with the RV. It's a very nice little feature. But the space in here, that's enough room for those long weekend getaways. And if you're sleeping seven people in here, you're gonna need that space. It's, I mean, you pretty much have two fridges. It's a four door fridge, big space, big area, big prep area, big cooking area with a convection LG oven, convection LG oven. That's nice. Greystone regular oven, 21 inch down there. Plus I got the little LED accent light on my controls. Glass cover for my three burners, my grill style grate. I like the little backsplash applique here. That looks good. GFCI outlet, more storage over here. Just an all around good space. And then not to be outdone, how about a double door glass pantry? Look at the space that we have right there. I mean, the great thing about RVs, sure, you could stack that with everything you need. Plates, cups, cereal boxes, dried goods, canned goods, whatever, or shoes, towels. Well, don't put your shoes up there. Put them down there. Whatever you want to do, it's your RV. And then when it comes time to disconnecting from everything and reconnecting with the loved ones, you got your four-seater booth dinette right here. Table's a little bit small. Don't know why they did that. That's kind of, usually that goes all the way to the edge. Maybe they maybe they know how huge my head is. They want me to slip off the edge and hit my head on the window. Um, no, I'm, I'm sure it, it serves a purpose. This reduces down into a sleeper. You could probably get two adults on this. Uh, we always say one just to be safe, but like me, I sleep curled in the ball and I like to spoon my wife. So that's how we sleep. So this would actually be fine for us. But when you're surrounded by these large panoramic windows, just picture yourself in a beautiful setting like the beach or like the mountains. You're finally getting out and you're finally able to go see all those places that you wanted to see in the safety and comfort of your own home. That's what's great about the RVs. So when you're disconnected from everything and you're reconnecting with the loved ones, that's when you realize that you didn't just buy an RV. The RV is just wood, metal, aluminum, foam. It's a physical thing. What you bought is the investment to reconnect with the loved ones. And that's really what RVing is all about. At the end of the day, that's really what I'm doing, man. I'm trying to help you accomplish a dream. More storage here. Got hangers up there. Got my circuit breaker box right there. Slip resistant, easy to clean linoleum. I know I've said that before, but you do have the Darko moisture barrier. The uh, front cap is also reinforced as well up here, which I'll show you, when, you know, once we get up there. Convenience center, check my water heater, 
my bypass, my convenience center, my battery, all my tanks, which I'll tell you about the tanks once we get outside, run the slides. You got two awnings on this one and a solid door leading into the bathroom. So here I'm gonna open this up so both Bobby and I can get in there. Got my linen storage right here. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush, residential style shower uh, with the brush nickel fixtures. Got the good 21 inch skylight in here, giving you tons of light. I don't even think we have the lights on in here, but I got my bench sheet, my corner notches. I got good space. And if you look right behind you, Bobby, you got double vanity sinks. <laughs> Talk about saving some arguments before bedtime. <laughs> yes. This is where my wife and I could get along. She got her stuff, which would go from about here to about here. And then I would have my space. That's all I need. That's all I need. Got double mirrors, got a little medicine cabinet right here, plus a little storage shelf there, but plenty of storage space with the drawers and the cabinets underneath as well. Good room style features and space, which is what Dutchman kind of hangs their hat on. Coming to the master, you got a king size bed with strut supported storage. The bed is in its own slide. Don't have any nightstand space. So that's a negative, uh, but not bad. But it is dual AC, like I mentioned at the beginning. Got a 15K and a 13.5. Um, got the solid wood balances there, once again, with that uh, Belmont decor, the padded headboard, the barn style doors for the wardrobe with the double mirrors, storage shelf, ward bar there. More storage up here, another mirror, and set up for washer dryer prep. Because when you're going on those long weekend getaways, sometimes you just got to wash your Bahama shirts. I mean, I do it daily, so why not? TV backer right here, plus my connection and my little chest of drawers right here to give me some additional storage. Comfort style convenience. Amenities and benefits that won't break the bank. Got to tell you, man. 3602 LFKB. Good job, Dutchman, on this Atlas. We've seen the inside. So what do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the Dutchman Atlas 3602 LFKB, LFKB, LFKB fifth wheel. Try to say that three times real fast. 40 feet, nine inches long, 11,300 pounds dry. And I wanted to start right back here because you have two awnings. You got an 11 foot awning, which covers up the area right outside of the rear bunk room right here. So if you're on the road, you need to get and use the bathroom. You got a great entrance point right to that half bath right there. But you have an outside kitchen with a two burner flame king cooktop. Plus you got your LP quick connect under there as well. If you want to bring your grill, you know, maybe you got that Coleman tailgater. But I tell you, having this, Awesome, because when you're done, you can just slide it away. You got a cooking surface on top. You got prep area here, GFCI outlet plus mushroom light and the little mini dorm style fridge. Love having these options on an RV, especially when you're talking about a bunk model because you're not having to cook everything inside. You can do it outside. Got the covered hinge, the uh, anti-slam latches on these as well. Fiberglass exterior, beautiful light on dark. I like the connection there. Fold upstairs, lead me into the rear. The ground control 3.0, I'll tell you about once we get around to the other side. But you got your black tank flush right here. The beginning of our second awning, which is a 20-foot awning, both of which do have the LED light strip. But you got your cable connection and your TV power or cell phone charger, boom box, whatever you want right there. So if you want to set up a TV outside, you can. Underneath, you'll see we got the double axle right there, the 15-inch aluminum rims, nitro-filled tires on those Dexter Easy Lube axles, no rust. You know, none of that nasty stuff. Solid step above step leading into the master with the friction hinge door, the extra large grab handle here. And you'll notice the top step is usually bigger. That's for safety security, but it's also pet friendly. Heated and enclosed underbelly, as well as heated pass-through storage that's finished off. Now I like this because they continue the linoleum flooring from the inside, but they also give you this kind of rubberized storage right here. So if you have anything wet or dirty, maybe it's fishing rods, beach towels, whatever, you can put that right here. Power, plus it's lit, love it. Got the 10 amp quick connect for your solar panels because we are pre-wired for solar. Got your 30 pound LP tank here. There's the reinforced front cap. And you'll notice on this front cap, aerodynamic profile, 
painted fiberglass with the LED running lights, molded all the way around with that extra foil barrier there for additional insulation. We got our generator, or excuse me, our storage box. I always call them gen boxes because, I mean, if you want to throw one in there, you could. It would take some setup and wiring and all that, but, I mean, you know, to each his own. Spare tire and storage box right now. The Rotoflex hitch, which this pivoting head right here is really going to control the chucking when you're going down the road. And having this Rotoflex also gives you a little bit more of a turning radius when you're trying to park this bad boy. And of course, with fifth wheels, they are a little bit easier to tow than travel trailers because of the weight distribution being more in the bed of the truck. True fit slides right here. Got the bubble seals, the aluminum reinforcement on top, plus the rain guards. I like the way they built these because they're built to fit exactly in the space and minimize the components to move them in and out. Got my exterior command center right here with the spray ports, my cable and satellite connection. Sorry, Bobby. Hot water heater bypass, black tank flush, and here's your, your controls for your black tanks as well as your city water connection and your porthole. I like this because you can secure your connections. And when it comes to setting up and tearing down, Man, nothing better than having auto leveling. And you got the ground control 3.0 on this one with six point of touches. Having that really adds to that safety and security. And on this one, you got 50 gallon fresh tank and 78 gallon gray, 78 gallon black. That's a lot of space. Add that to the satellite prep, the insulation. You could go off the grid for a little while. I usually end the reviews with this right here, but it is the most important part. Unloaded vehicle weight, 11,350. Gross vehicle weight, 14,000 pounds. That's where you take that information to your specialist at Camping World at Gander and you say, hey, what does that really mean? Because here's what my vehicle can tow. You know, is this right for me? There's my main terminations, the gray tank, the black tank. You got two bathrooms, so you'll have doubles. And right here is the access under that bed. And there's also a panel in the back. Now, we're, we're here in the jungle, backed up to the, the bush. And I, I, I thought I saw a, a 10 pacer back there. So I don't really want to step there and die. Um, so we'll just end right here with our freshwater connection and our 50 amp connection. So if you like this 3602 LFKB, 40 feet, nine inches long, can sleep seven people comfortably, got tons of amenities, tons of features, but doesn't break the bank. That's kind of the Dutchman Atlas sweet spot. Then this could be the fifth wheel that's right for you. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? Cause we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe and notify. So the next time we get a video out, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this 3602. And did you notice instead of the plastic clip on the storage box here, it's magnetic. I tell you, man, sometimes it's just the little things. That's why I love RVs. I'll see you soon.